supplies this morning. Take you a little walk, Great Reno Balloon Race. They don't, you just join in. Look, people just sleeping on the field. There's the balloons right there. They, there's no restrictions. Just enjoy, enjoy, Have enjoy. Have you truly explored in Nevada? Time travel through Nevada's story pass. Trek across stunning terrain, marvel at spectacular scenery. Start planning your next adventure at TravelNevada.com. And Muckle Anderson is a proud to be a major sponsor and a longtime friend of the Great Reno Balloon Race. We couldn't do it without Muckle Anderson CPAs and Pepsi Beverages. Congratulations! Here's one of the Great baskets. Reno Balloon Race on 31 years of a great community tradition. They're proud to be part of this. Oh, they're getting ready event. to inflate this balloon. We're very proud to have Pepsi with us as well. The national championship air races are proud to be partnering with the Great Reno Balloon Race. See, there's the uh, the, the burners. Instead, start next the basket. Week. And they're Thursday, unpacking Friday, the balloon Sunday, right now, or the Sunday envelope right now. Preliminaries on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Lots of Here's another one being inflated as we speak. The 49th annual National Championship Air Races. These are just some of the sponsors that provide the funds that allow us to continue to bring you this event at no charge. <clears throat> they use a fan to inflate. And then once it's inflated, then they use the burners to heat it up so it can take off. If you've ever asked the question, how do they make a balloon fly? Well, we'll try and give you a little primer on it. Down in our center field right now, you can see one of our balloons is being what we call cold air inflated. The that canopy, the upper part of the beautiful balloon, has been stretched out upon some vinyl on the grass out there to protect it from the uh, from the grass for this very fragile material. They attach an electric generated fan to turn the. Oops. I've been corrected. It's a gas-powered fan <laughs> that creates the air inside the balloon it's very cold air but they fill up the balloon with the cold air when it's been full completely filled up they turn on their propane burner to create the heat bubble that will go inside of that cold air slowly slowly warming that air so that it becomes much hotter than the air on the outside and it's a contrast of the heat on the inside of the balloon with the cold air on the outside that gets it to stand in the full upright position. You will note that there is a crown cable that is a long rope at the top of the balloon being held out full so that it can control the balloon when it goes into a full upright position. This is attached to the gondola of a basket in which the pilot and any passengers might be riding. And the burner is what creates the heat to keep that balloon in an upright position and then it gets light, as we call it, ready and joining to take off. That's when there's enough heat on the inside to have the balloon to fly. Once it's airborne, there's no steering wheel on that balloon. The object is to find the correct direction of the winds to take you where you want to go. And as you get off the deck here at Rancho San Rafael, the wind changes directions about every 100 feet or so. You're in a high plateau here. At Rancho San Rafael, we're about 4,300 feet above sea level. And as you climb up and out off the deck here, again, you're gonna find winds from different directions. As the sun comes up, as it soon will, it creates a heating element on the ground that creates its own winds. That combined with the natural movement of air above is how our pilots are able to maneuver their balloons up in the air once they take off. So you're seeing it right now with the balloon getting hot air inflated, ready to be standing in a full upright position. That will be our balloon that we will be flying at our American flag for the celebration of our country and the singing of the national anthem coming up 
just a little bit later. But all 87 of our balloons will go through that same procedure, stretching out on the ground, cold air inflating, heating up with a propane burner, standing in a full upright position, attaching to the gondola, and taking off into the sky. That's what ballooning is all about. We hope you're interested and hope you enjoy it. Lots of activities this morning on the second day of the Great Nina Balloon Race, the 31st edition. There, now you got the story on how a balloon works. They're going to start on this one pretty soon, adding the heat. And that's get, that gets real noisy. I'm going to go over there right now. Oh, there goes one coming down. He was one of the Dawn Patrol guys. As we told you earlier, our Dawn Patrol pilots will be here to sign autographs. He's getting bigger and bigger. inside the balloon. starting to get an idea of how big these things are. They're not little at all. That's my job tomorrow is helping crew one of these balloons. to try and keep going until they fire up the burner. Oh, I smell gas. I think they're getting ready.
to take off. Here she goes. Look at the crowd. The cameras. Here we go. There she is. Yay! Got a flag flying. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Let's stand back a little bit. And good morning, here comes the sun. Wow, look at that thing. It's just absolutely enormous. It's just enormous. There she goes. Now let's see if she, if we can hang in there one more minute while they take off. Wow. You get an idea how big these things are? They're enormous. He's the first one for the of the mass ascension. Anyway, I think that's enough for now. I don't think he's taking off right away, so anyway, now you've seen a video on how they inflate a balloon envelope.